Well, Wally here. Guys, it's time for witchcraft. It's time for witchcraft. That's the only way I, I, I can describe it. But yes, I'm going to attempt witchcraft. Stay tuned. This is, is my Husqvarna 435 guys, uh, a crack and saw, there's a lot of, see, seems to be 50-50 whether or not people get a good one or, or, or they have problems with it. Mine has been excellent up to this point uh, and what I need to do guys, it's not running, not running right or not running properly. So I'm going to adjust the carb on it and see if I can get this thing working. Now. I am not an expert in chainsaws guys, very, very, very far from it, but with, you know, uh, with the help of the chainsaw community, I this is what the road that have, we have been told to investigate first, okay? So I'm going to get this guy, and I'm going to see if I can get this chainsaw to start, okay? Let's have a look and see what it's doing first. I'm, go I'm going to try and bring you guys in closer as much as possible, guys. I am feeling my way through this. I am sort of making this up, going on stuff that you have told me and going on previous videos that I have watched, okay? At this moment, the last time I tried, it wasn't even starting, okay? So it started that time, right? So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get these jets here. Let me take these closer. Oh, bump these into the roof. So here is the plan, right? I'm going to, first of all, guys, you need one of these or it doesn't work. Okay, you need a special splined tool. This one was a 21 teeth splined carb adjustment screwdriver. Uh, it was very cheap off, uh, off, off Amazon. So what I'm going to do guys, is I'm actually going to, my God, it's hard to see in there. I'm going to turn these all the way to the right until they stop. And then I'm going to try and adjust it from there. Okay. So let's start with this one. Let me get that on the seat probably. Come on, baby. There we go. And that's that one. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, right? I'm gonna try and arrange this so that this writing is pointing up in the air. And I'm gonna go one and a half to the left. That's one, and that's a half. I'm going to do the same on the high. That's one, and that's a half. Witchcraft, guys, absolute witchcraft. Let's try it, let's see what gets on. turn the high up a quarter turn sorry the low a quarter turn quarter there you go
I'm, I'm going to try another quarter on the low, right? But what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it running this time. I think I should be looking for chain creep here. Well, we'll see. I think. <laughs> let me let, let me see what the crack is. Another quarter turn. There we go. a little bit back okay so right again so it's gonna go a quarter back with the with the with the high so that's to the right Craft, and that's my magic wand <laughs> guys I am uh, I'm happy enough with that saying that the last time I I first of all guys I didn't know what I was doing there I was going from your information that you guys sent me and also a couple of YouTube videos that I had watched in relation to it guys uh, to me that's a million times better okay it didn't even start the last time sorry it's cold guys it's cold so didn't even start the last time so that is a massive improvement so uh what i need to do is i need to take it down to the woods and i need to test it guys but that is going to be a different video so comments down below guys let me know what you think is that okay does it sound okay it sounds fine to me it's starting there's not a lot of chain creep it's running it doesn't are the revs maxing out? I think from, from what I know is that I don't want my revs maxing out when I'm full throttling. Is that right? Is it wrong? I don't know, guys. Okay, but just let me know what you think. Comment below. Guys, thanks for all your help. Stay frosty.